sometimes those papers are enjoyable to ironically, of course. Lydia! Phil Tacular, Darian's a winkle misser, a silk, so a very happy Sisyphus. Estwood. Thank you, boys. Gation. Alright, please help us avoid spoilers. Okay. Ah, uh, screen mode, full screen, boot ba doo, vertical sync, no, motion blur is off, slider 90. Mm. Nanny? Ah. Quality. Epic quality. Subtitles, yes. Subtitle conversation, size. Any blind people in chat? Alright, we'll do large. Set a little background. Mm, no. Yes? Maybe? Why is no a default? Should, uh, no. I want to apply them. Alright. New game. A message from the developers. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. You smell those, right? This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. <laughs> so they think. We'll see about that one. That is. You're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. She looks like I so. checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? I'm the God Gamer. Sebastian, do you like the band Rumsteen? And also, have you ever seen a band perform live? If so, which ones? Uh, yeah, they're all right. Um, I've seen some bands. I don't remember exactly. Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, uh, Sabaton. Um, uh, yeah, a few more. I, f I don't remember, dude. I don't fucking remember. Those fucking Panther guys, what do they call again? Mm. Pantera, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steel, no, not Pantera, Steel Panther. Steel Panther. Uh, not Pantera, no, no. Yeah, uh, a few others. I can't remember. Too long ago. Uh, select your body type. This is it. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I was searching for ancient ruins. I was on a covert mission. I don't remember anything. I was on the run from them. Oh, wait, they have fucking... Oh, it's fucking... Okay. Years of studying history give you occasional insight into the ancient world. You have a military-issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously. Jude, jude, I never heard of that before. Since there is no way to get more. 
Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet and you're 25% faster when sprinting. Your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Uh -huh. Sprint bonus for sure, bro. 50% harder to take down? It does look like you took a pretty hard blow to the head. You're just lucky you've been That's given a second force, chance. Bill. We're proving the devs Which wrong. Which is why I feel terrible for what I'm about to say, but... I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. There are some ruins just behind you. Oh. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. Doing yourself. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. Yeah, I need, he's dying, what I mean but is, is he I promised. I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? I know how she looks like now. Kinda. She looks like that kid actor from uh, from uh, those silly superhero uh, Chloe. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know her last name. <laughs> what? I just see all the actors in every character. I don't know her last name. Mind if I ask some more question first? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. Oh, but so you made a promise. Maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any uh. case... You'll like I promise him, sure. the person you just Once met, you, him, you can't go in after him, under no circumstances. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Oh, sorry, my camp is... should be here, maybe? Alright. Have you tried calling for help? I'm assuming she has. Where are we though? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Uh-huh. Alright. Oh, there's what are you doing not here? much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean, man. Fucking seven to one in the morning job every day. Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. You'd rather not say your name, but you want me to go in there and risk my life to find some stranger that you fucking met for three minutes that you promised you wouldn't go after, so you send me instead. Alright. i really like to know, especially if I'm going to help you. Why don't you want to tell me? Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that... I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's... Karen. Karen. Alright. All those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? Uh, yeah. Oops. Alright. Alright, right. that's So weird. you're ready to go look for Al? Alright, um, I'm going in for the price of the artifact, but I'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, yeah. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Flashlight. Okay. See you later, motherfucker.
Search for the clues about AL's whereabouts. I keep thinking it's AI. But I don't know what I think about this water. What the fuck is this? That's very sus indeed. Yeah, this is a this is a little game. Hundred percent. Hello. Lower flashlight. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence. I didn't. Even, I didn't even touch the uh, golden uh, cup. Uh, not cup. Is long uh, forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. <laughs> it reads, "You who wish to enter the city, step forth, and be judged." The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? The people have survived down there, against the odds. It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Well, I appreciate they have uh, full voice acting though. Even though the game is kind of little. A Roman gladiator mid stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? I don't know, they were kind of slaves, you know, lore-wise, so they would probably flee at the very first opportunity. <clears throat> A young Roman woman, it looks like she was begging for a life. And now she's begging for me to stop. <laughs> F5 the quick save and the quick load. Ah, oh, classic Skyrim. Alright. Fucking quick save. A Roman military commander attempting to scramble scramble away from something. Maybe he just fell. A Roman legionary in a state of terror. What could have happened here? I wonder if these mechanics are fairly close to Skyrim because I could potentially become goats and you know what I mean. Ah, oh, they have fucking loaded these with oh, invisible walls. Skyrim, you, you jump backwards. They have too many invisible walls here. What are they afraid of? A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Is she praying though? She better pray there's an invisible wall right here. Follow Al's trail, complete. Where's this hanging golden statue? Of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? How is that possible? That I would assume that that's Al right away. Yeah. 
And whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Uh... Well, I have nothing to play, so I guess. As if begging his Here's what's first. going to happen. Ah. Orson will skip or ignore some tutorial. Get frustrated because he lacks information. Jump up some rocks, break the game. And bitch about how a game is buggy that four people made probably aside a real job. Xco follows. Uh, I mean, we all already established that the game is buggy. Takes me less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Tap P to enter photo mode in game. I'm so artistic. A Roman relief uh, depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. <gasps> it's like we traveled through time. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh... I'm Pepe and I've just come from the future. Wait, are you speaking English? Shrine of Prosperina? I'm Pepe and I got lost. Wait, are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? Well... It's better to be honest. I'm Pepe, and I've just come from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not... Right in the head. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Seriously, what's today's date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. What year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? Uh That doesn't help me. Is this before or after Christ? Fuck. Hey, not so loud. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. Mm -hmm. Your laws? Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's well, it's 
kind of horrific. What is the golden rule? The magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Uh, sure. Oh, Either way. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the Magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be Magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... uh... it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, all where right. I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage and wheat. That's your farm? That one usually gets a chuckle. That's kind of weak. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs Wait, was way name, Lydia? down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched no. up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. Oh, you're a bitch? remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, said I said you're not like you and me. getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow Magistrate Sentius. Alright. But what is this about? I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. Golden Rule. Alright. Lead the way. Do you think you really need to understand I wanted to do the, the I don't rule. think so, but... Working hard? When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among. Sorry, I have a hard time hearing what the fuck they're saying. I want to kind of turn up the the voice. Hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate oh, can explain shit. the rest. Ten times worse? He's up these stairs. Alright. The golden rule. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. Finally alone? May I know your name? It's I'm Pepeya. A curious name to match a curious accent. Yes. But I digress. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains. Maybe hundreds of years ago. You have a lot of sunlight. It's beautiful. Maybe. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. 
22 complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Can't say I have. Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. Don't you see, me. the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless Ooh. you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, a goddess. ask away. Alright. What counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a Thank good you. deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying? Insulting someone? Blasphemy? Oh Trespires, shit, thank god I didn't lie in the start. Escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. All right. Makes sense to me. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral. In many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Uh... Fire it. I'm glad you agree. The key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy, murder, assault and rape as well as theft and arson and so on. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. I mean, what are you gonna do? If someone does, you all die. <laughs> whispering blasphemous and There's no punishment. lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Alright. Uh, what did you mean when you said prosperity? Proserpina sent me. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. Cycle of it's life and renewal. It's a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was Oh, that you. makes things easier. You don't belong in our time, do you? Uh, you're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Ah, you had all been turned into golden statues. I didn't see anything. All right, 
You all be turning to golden statues. I have imagined it. But it's for the better, trust me. Times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Why can't we understand each other? I don't speak Latin. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Mm -hmm. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? It's not really how the paradox works, but... Sure, why not? Alright, uh... Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation... Alright, alright. I can, uh, I can get behind that. How do I know you're not the person responsible? All right, fair enough. Uh, all right, that's oh, all the questions I had, man. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Well, I mean, you don't have much of a choice. I have much of a choice. All right, fuck it, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, Chat. come back and tell me immediately. Let me do my playthrough, alright? All right? I'm fucking RPing here, I'm immersing, alright? I'm not RPing as a fucking journalist. Asking every single fucking question, alright? I'll get the fucking best ending, but it will be on my fucking terms. Alright, cocksuckers. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo. Lucretia. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Alright. Uh, I'll see what I can do. This will prioritize the new quest, showing its objective markers only. Alright, I'll get on it. 69, Shrine of Apollo. Alright. Is there fall damage in this game? Oh shit, there is. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? Uh huh. Sure. Fresh meat, huh? Fresh meat. Fucking stick my meat into your. Isn't the great temple majestic? Yes. What about the butterflies that just appeared around me? What? Name's Rufius. Rufius. Better watch your step. Better watch your step. Uh. What do you think about the golden rule? Mm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. True, true. Uh, I know the feeling I lived through a pandemic. Oh, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one That's... bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think is coming? I don't know. 
But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us? Yes. And we're not looking. I did. Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. Of course I am. Oh. What's your story? I can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but... Uh... Families from Seleucia and Tigris, Babylon province. But I've been roaming a long time now. Even joined the legions, the sixth, the one they call Ironclads. Ironclads. Why don't you have a weapon? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. If we have to. Who are you going to vote for? Meliolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Alright, alright. I mean, I don't care about politics, so you vote Fine. for whoever you want to vote for. Whatever. Whatever. Right. Hello. <gasps> Wait, did he just spoil this? The fuck? Is he dead? Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient. And a dear friend. Julia. Why is she lying she like that, woman. though? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally, I'd treat her with resin of silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else... All I'll right, I had a bit of suspicion, from his story, but after but no search, it's official. Down here. This game is made based on a fucking so skill in mod made by the same fucking guy who made die. this game. I so that says a lot about the quality. And now I'll also, chat you the shut the fuck up, Horsonus W. Do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake? Yes, we already knew that. Eyes with her dying breath. That snake's cruel black eyes. Interesting. How did they poison her without? Without breaking the golden rule. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. What is that? Get me that silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose I mean, another if I steal patient, it, this we'll way, die, so I you should swear care. to the gods below. Not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. Alright. This will prioritize the quest showing as the Okay. Uh, that is dangerous talk though. But I'll get right hey, on it. Come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. No items. It's your fault if XQC hasn't streamed for five days. You will never be better than XQC or Medal, so bad. So bad, oh Medal. XQCL. That is unfortunate. Aha. Hello. How'd you do? It's 
salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. I'm Dacius. Dacius? Ter Oops. Terrible shame what happened to Lulia. But Lulia. <laughs> but you just have to carry on, don't we? Uh, it's true. Alright, what's your story, how man? How did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Let's hear it. Alright. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Uh -huh. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named Acampha, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. The cart. Of course I chose the car. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put me hand on the car, and I guess you realise what was happening, because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Ah, uh, so you took her with you after all. I think I see where this is going. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. That is unlucky. What does commis com commiserations mean? We'll find Thank out. Thank you, friend. But it turns out it might have been a stroke of good Apologies. fortune. Because this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you, there must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Well, what do you think about the golden rule? It's terrible for inflation is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. I assume you want me to go find one for the uh Oh well technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Alright. Uh Thank you, friend. I need some silphium resin. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something Oops. within your budget? Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. How could I come up with a thousand denarii? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? Mm-hmm. Price gouging or life-saving medicine? What is wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. It's ahead Simply of his time. Supply demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Take it. Did you hear that? Hear what? That whisper. Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. Well, someone is telling me to Navy steal it. Friends. What happened to Navia? She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? I do. Uh, how about I just take it instead? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? No. I suppose you're right. Is that what you want? If not, hand them over now. Bluff. Alright, I'll bluff. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see oh, one? Okay. Nice try. 
Well. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Very well. Another time. I'm just browsing. Well, the voices want me to take it, but I don't know if I should listen to the voices. Speaking of the voices, maybe we can fix them with a the man monk. Alright, I don't see the. Oh, shopping list. Things to buy once I've escaped. Villa on Aventine Rome. Two horse chariot. Seat on the Senate. Four horse chariot. Villa on the Bay of Naples. Ten horse chariot. Twelve slave girls. Pale and plump. Huh. So, uh, where is he keeping the stash? Oh, it's, it's Whatever's already. in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's worth it. I'm not taking this. No, the golden rule. We must abide. Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the Magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. <sighs> That's right. Can you make me a bow? Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. You arrived on a sad Got day, it. friend. What with Julia's death. I wish we could have met under better circumstances. Uh, I did not notice the graffiti. What is your story? What do you think about the golden rule? Some people say it's divine. The work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. Like it's distinctly human. It does sound I very mean, flawed. Once you've been here long enough, Force and cave, you've one year, dude. people doing things that are so wrong Mark. to you. But this so called God doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown God doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Um. I think so. Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. So you want to remove the current guy. Alright. I I fucking I hear you. I'm glad. It's best if I say Fortune no more, smile but on you, brother. I hope you will give it some sort. Alright, so... I don't think this nice guy can make a you. bow. But maybe he has something. Virgil, do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Okay, what is this guy's sin? Salve! Welcome saying? back. Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Uh huh. You like men? Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. Y yes, I like men. And when you grow up in the north, as I did in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hit who I was for... What was it? Nearly Why 10 years. Why are you gay? 
watching what I said and weren't they cool looked, back but then? But the kind of Romans? away at you slowly <clears throat> oh, no. until living Maybe isn't just any better than the thing movies. you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Alright, I'm sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In yeah, any case, polite, the dude. Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. You know who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset How this How am I person. not your type, huh? If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. All right, all right. Let me look into it for what? you. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. All right. Come back and let me know what you find. This area is private. Please leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> this area is private. Please leave, bro. What the fuck? Now I'm not helping your ass. How do I go to quests? Tip to see the more questions. Leads. Which one is the main ones? This is lives in the first. Figure out who is most likely to break the golden rule. Right. Alright, we're not gonna tell him anything yet. Point of origin, create a time paradox. Okay. I'm not gonna steal this. A bow might come in useful. We wanna get a bow, but we don't know where to get a bow. Uh, we're gonna help this guy. Because he he was... He's a, he's a blacksmith or a something. Craftsman. All right, we're gonna figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. Ask the merchant in the forum for clues about Virgil's secret admirer. The forum, what is a forum in in this time of day and age? I wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. Ah, oh. very well. Ready. Alright. It's a big market. Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Uh-huh. Uh... Who are you? Fabia, but now's not the time. Are you going to help or not? Uh, sh fuck. All right. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. No. Don't find her. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. All right. <sighs> See ya. The shrine is collapsing. What? 
<laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Force and I'm about to have sex for the first time next week. Does the god gamer have any tips? Also, H. Don't. You'll break the golden rule. Why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. She walked into that empty shrine, and the next moment she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. <laughs> Poor the gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friend. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. Uh. What the fuck? Beware. Shrine may collapse at any moment. Bro, is this game trolling me right now? Like what? Alright, uh, we shall honor her though by... A small stick with sponge attached. This must be what Romans used instead of toilet paper. It appears to be communal use. Best to put it back immediately. Yeah. Alright, that's... That's fucking nasty, dude. Always remember, they're watching. The Assassin's Creed now. Alright, bathhouse. Roman baths. Oh, there's the bow. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Uh I don't know a Quinctius. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Uh, that is... I wasn't lying though. You are not off to a good start. When I ask you a question, I, I don't expect know that is. an answer. Do I know what that is? Is that understood? Okay. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people? And what is this place? You haven't been briefed on your assassination? Why don't you just put that bow down and you can come in and see for yourself? Oh, how very welcoming of you. You want me to let my guard down, is that it? You're not going to get your claws into me. I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. Wait, what's a mystery cult? Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. Always Based. sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. The Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quintius did, those days are numbered. All right, but... We're not cultists. You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? We can't fucking leave. We're all trapped here. We're not keeping it a secret. So you admit you're not allowed to leave? Uh, it's not that we're not allowed to leave. We physically can't leave. There's no way out. Threatening me is not going to help you. But in any case... That sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. 
and I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? Uh, it's not a mantra, it's a warning. Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? They were once people who were turned to gold as punishment. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You people disgust me. Says the assassin. We didn't turn to gold. God did. And we don't know which one. Of course you'd say that. But that's what your kind do, isn't it? Our God told us to do it. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're cultists. There's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Who the Do fuck is Quintius? It. What is it going to take for you to let this go? Gold? Take all the gold you want. I wouldn't help you even if I didn't know who it is. I have no idea who or where he is. Tell me about this Quintus. Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes. One green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. Um, how do you know he set fire to Rome? All I know, all I care about, is that the Emperor believes he is guilty and wants him dead. The details are not my concern. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell Wasn't me where he is? This one my last chance. All right, I have no idea who or where he is. <sighs> then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? Um. Do you? <laughs> you said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What the fuck? Wait, what about his bow? What the fuck? <clears throat> ah! Worst ending? Bro, there was no way I could get out of that situation. Sandius? Forgot the quick save. Bro, this game is not about quick saving. It's literally the opposite. If you quick save, you're just cheating the system. 
Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were it's doing? It's literally choices matters. The game. Oh my god. I'm Pepega, and we had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to see Sensius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. What? Zip line handlebar? A rudimentary wooden zip line handlebar. Oh, Just nice. attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to. Why though? Because I'm assuming worry, you'll be fucking uh, fucking up a lot of times with the golden rule, so it will right. be a time saver. See you around. Ride it. Tried to help you, bro. You didn't do shit for me with the fucking. On your best behavior, I trust. Assassin. I don't think I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go to this guy? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Pepe, and we've had this conversation before. We have. Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. I'm pretty sure is it was unavoidable with that assassin, if so, Chad. What happened? I couldn't stop it from being broken. <coughs> I didn't I do see. shit. Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Okay. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Uh, not fucking really, actually. Uh, Thank yeah. Thank you. I'll be waiting here. I don't know why I went back here. But I guess you have to give me the quest first, otherwise I look like a fucking madman coming to you with the culprit. Uh, and also, why the fuck was his body a skeleton over at the shrine? Isn't it supposed to be turned to gold? Behavior, I trust? Why the fuck was his body just a skeleton lying there? He was smited? Smited by who? Oh, okay. No spoilers. Greetings and salutations. All right. So, uh, first of all, help! You have to do something. A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. All right. Uh. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine. No. No, don't go in the shrine. Do not go in there. What? Why? Just trust me. <sighs> All right. Um. Fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Oh, and now I take the assassin into the empty shrine. I'm fucking genius. probably take this note but I can't I'll show him I'll show the assassin the way to the
cut suckers out of quint quintix. Stop right there. I am Quint looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Uh... Ah. But now, wait. But I don't know what happens if you lie. I'm fucking genius, though. All right. Thank you for your service to the Empire. I'll let you live for now, but you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. I don't know. If lying is a sin, we're about to find out. Because there's a lot of lying options. Hello, Forsan. I haven't done I'm it so far. And we had the conversation before. H. We have many times. Curse you, cultist. <laughs> Honestly, they capture the spirit of Skyrim perfectly. Well, I'm guessing that this is... I mean, it's not stealing if he's dead. That's for sure. So maybe lying is not so bad. And Bernier has ordered the execution of a cultist named Quinctius. Mm -hmm. He is a known associate of a cultist and suffers from delusions of grandeur. Alright. I'll take the arrows and the one coin that he had. Really? One coin. He listens with their ears. Oh. So he's using these to spy on the sins. So as long as there are no golden statues around, you can do crimes. Am I already figuring out the whole game? Devs, I have 140 IQ, I'm sorry. Greek statue of a woman. Probably the goddess to whom this temple is dedicated. Perhaps a local Greek resident knows more about her. Aha! What is this? Oh, I should have maybe returned the bow. What? I can use the bow. not a crime if you get away with it. Hmm. A Greek liar. Bust. We haven't gotten a quest to go here. Who the fuck is this? Jerking off? Come and join me by the fire. Uh okay. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? I'm Papilla. 
It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Who the fuck are you? Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? I found this place by accident. Then perhaps the fates brought you here to learn the secrets of this place. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. Okay. I'm I can give you some philosophical arguments. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden Oh, Oh, that's not a very philosophical question. Hmm. Not yet. You have much to learn. It's best if you figure it out on your own. Come back once you've made progress. Uh, I'd really like you to tell me. Then you should speak with your contemporaries in the city above. Ask them about their stories and see if you detect a pattern of some sort. It is nice best debate. if you come to this realization for yourself. You would never believe me if I told you. Okay. That might be true. But what is this place? That I found by accident. It's a fucking maze. It's locked. Aha! Ah, oh. you've returned. Yeah, I just got lost. Aha! Aha! Think I can get through here? Do you know who I am? Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. Ah, you've returned. Ah, ah, you've returned. Can I want to use the arrows? I don't really want to give away the bow, but... Right, if we're going to get closer to the truth, I think we have to. I sharpen pencils, 21 bears, Keith, Looney Mat, Excommunicated, Sarsic, Arazai, Nut, and Light in 95. Thank you, boys. Murderer, Ziv, Ziv. Thank you for the prime sub as well. All right, you. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice oh, the fine bow. Oh, ten thousand. Now I dare the narrows. Hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. Mm. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Uh, the statues come to life and fire golden bows, arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full grown man into gold. All right. Of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet...
I'll take a lake. Alright. Now we're fine. I, I just really had to take a leak unrelated to the call. <laughs> uh, Alright. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interested? Half of infinite wealth. There's no half. Uh, I think the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. This that sounds grossly unethical. Uh, uh, yes, I think the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? Am I interested? Turning people into gold? Mm, I think no. That sounds grossly unethical. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. In that case, go on. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Mm, not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. All right. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow? Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. But you want me to steal it? Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a, a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. Uh, but in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Alright, let me now, just fucking you must have questions. take Ask the... Away. Take your shit and replace it with other shit. Why can't you do it yourself? I'm more of an ideas man. Whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I have complete confidence in you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, are you in, partner? Uh, we're gonna have to give away the bow, Chad, but we can't really use the bow without committing a crime, I think. So, I guess, fuck it. I'll do it. But don't ever call me partner. If you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. What the fuck? Wonderful. Now, if you land over your bow, I can get Pussy started devs. and a layer of gold leaf. 
Suck this my nuts. Is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. And here we are. A gold leaf bow. Oh shit. Fake golden bow. Now I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods end of the not street watch over on you. the left. Right. This end of the street, okay. Why are ah? That was truly horrifying. Good thing the devs warned me. All right, a Roman man on his knees, as if uttering a desperate prayer. Clearly, it fell on deaf ears. All right, I'm just gonna. What the fuck are those? I'm just gonna take the quiver. All right, they're not looking, are they? Oh, he fucking is looking. All right, we're gonna make them look the other way. I'm over here. All right. Fuck. All right. How the fuck do I? Oh, the bracers, right. Alright, we gotta move this guy. I don't have to swap it out. Aha! Oh shit! I just realized. Uh. Uh. I like get fire arrows here. I'm stuck. Alright. How do you want me to swap this out? Oh, I did it. Alright, we're cool. Partner? Do you have the bow? Is behind me. Brutus. Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. You locked me in here? A little bit slow, aren't you? Yes, I locked you in. And until you give me my bow, you're gonna stay in there like Tantalus in Tartarus. How is this not against the golden rule? She just split the riches between the two of us. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. Well, I still have the bow. How can I trust you after you double-cross me like this? You're just gonna have to take your chances, I'm afraid. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. There's no way I'm giving you this bow. I'll find another way out. Even if I gave it to you, you'd probably just leave me in here. Forget about it. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest. And they can be rather aggressive toward intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man. But I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out if they were right, shall we? Let's 
escape the temple. Must be a secret entrance somewhere. The nest? Yeah, I'm not sure. What? What do you want me to do with the fucking nest, huh? Okay, it's moving. I, I picked last time, so it's your turn now, woman. Okay, we're watching the three hour stand up comedy special. Are you sure? God damn it, I say no more shit videos. That's it. I'm locking you up in a cell forever, woman 10. This doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm just saying, this looks like a horrible idea. Fuck you, shoot the nest. You shoot the fucking nest. Alright, I have golden arrows. Alright, that's my cue. Ah! Nice, don't buy an iPhone. You're scary shit. Fletched arrows. Denarius, 112. Ah. The algae? You want me to. Oh, maybe you want me to shoot the algae? That, I don't know. Okay. Alright, I don't know how that works science wise, but I'll take it. Navius Journal. Here. I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done, and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad, or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me, a rasp of air as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. I don't know if they're technically living. It would be pretty hard to breathe with this golden shit. Ah! 
Fucking pull it back, Max. Where are we now? Palace? There's some sort of lag shit here. Find a way into the palace. I did. I did it. Hello, my lady. Old chest. Fletched arrows. I have a lot of fucking arrows now. Can waste some. Fuck with me. The fuck? Ooh. Bitch. <laughs> That's right. When you mess with the best. Ah! The fuck? <laughs> fuck you. That's right. But they're already fucking golden. <laughs> the fuck? This guy's fucking coming. Turn golden is his fetish. Oh, coin pouch, seventy-two dollars. Was that chest? More arrows. Not that my aim needs it. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, chat. You're not supposed to be here. So I can turn her into gold. That's right. Welcome. Gotta kick him all. A fermented fish sauce used as a condiment. It gives off a faint salty aroma. go through here so I guess gotta go through here yeah I fucking know advice friends much fuck let me play the game oh, fuck. that's right bitch ass motherfucker oh shit it's like one of those fucking Hindu gods <laughs> Kind of look like uh, <laughs> kind of look like the robots from uh, the Will Smith movie, I Robot.
What? I thought you were dead. I thought it was like role playing before the uh, gold turning animation. Gotta kick them all. What are, what are those butterflies? Am I supposed to get up here? Oh shit. Oh fucker. Wait, legendary chest. And fifty dollars. I wasted a lot of arrows. Why didn't I just? Okay. We got plenty. Tell me what to do. Distract them. What? What the fuck? I thought it was shit. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What did they want me to do with this? the base. I'm stuck. We're good. Hello. Key to palace doors. All right. Take it. Navius journal numero dos. After I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues. I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company, I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then 
that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set it to work. Alright, so she's in love with a statue. Ah! Oh, fuck. Now we fucked up. Fuck, now I'll never know what's in here. Fucker. What the fuck? Hang on. Hopefully there's no door here. Fuck. Legend Miss Legendary Sword. What the fuck? Nothing here. It's fine. Bitch. Ah! I forgot to take these arrows. That's why I had to go back here. And this chest, of course. What do you want? What? Ah, uh, what? I'm confused. What did they want from me with those vines? They're leading the way. He says, go to the left. Slide to the left. Am I supposed to climb these? Oh. Sorry, devs, I misunderstood. Because there's no climbing animation! How did he die? The fuck? He's still breathing. Not today. That vase. Well, that's not worth it. A young woman with her arms raised as if it suddenly terrified by something unknown. But it is known to me now. Bitch. 
What did they want me to do with these vases? I'm confused. I've been making... I've been making more money recently. Thought I'd shed love. Thanks for doing what you do. Bye for now. Cheery mode. Dude, that was like hours ago. What the fuck? My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman, who I called Iodami, after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy. Do you not have hitboxes? I fucking shot you in the dick. No, what happened to the... The lore? Where's my lore? I was listening to that. I don't know how to replay it, so I'm just gonna... My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prison. I've spent a total of two hundred seventy-five dollars on donations to force who I called Iodami after the Athenian. Does that include the current one? Medusa, drilling through the gold that is I was Another. vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, so rigid it must be some kind of fire. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. Disgusting. First, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Uh -huh. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day, we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. Alright. So she was just peeling off the... I've spent a total of $285 on donations to Forsen. Classic. Instant classic. Alright, so they're half peeled. Uh, but it doesn't break the golden rule to inflict the pain on them. You can talk. Uh, 
I don't understand what you're saying. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash uh, who are you? Behind me? Oh, fuck. Is that her? You must be in Navia. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you what? just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. Uh, if you attack me, we'll both end up encasing gold. And you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me, as long as you get what you deserve. Uh, this has nothing to do with me. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. I? She's in agony. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her, to see her beautiful face, to hear her speak freely, instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. Oh, and she's the one. I discover she started whispering to you instead. The main whisper. What's so special about you? I don't know. It's not just that. It's not just this statue whispering to me. A lot of them do it, but it's always the same voice. What do you mean the same voice? It's like someone else is whispering to me through the statues. Hmm. Yes, I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seem to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was, was... Nothing? Wait, I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done uh... all the hard work, then swoop in, is that it? Women. Uh, don't call him crazy. No, I swear. Liar! You tried to steal her away from me, and now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you too. I don't know. Gilmore Girls is on. All I want to do is leave. What? What are you talking about? I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up inside the palace. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? Uh, I never had any intention of hurting you. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? Collection. Oh, God. My mother has spent $295 on donations to force me. And in so much And equally pain. much for other services. It's the air. Coming into contact with her flesh, it's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its uh, course. No. At least that way, she'd be golden again, and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. Uh, I can't undo this. It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I can cover in gold again. I can wind back time and make it so that I never came in here. Came in here. I can cover in gold again. What? How? This is... This golden bow is the weapon that encases people in gold. Really? I'm not sure I believe you, but if you can undo this mess, I'll, I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I imagine it would help Lucretia ease the suffering of those still in the city. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. 
Understood. Understood. What about suicide? Is that breaking the golden rule? All right. Uh. Make her gold, or I'll make us all gold. All right. She's gold. You did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I mean, she's still I'll in stay pain. here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one Further correction. My father has spent 305 bucks on donations to forces. Does this mean you'll fist him? Minus 305 rule. It opens a chest in the shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things we'll talk about it next which may be useful Friday. to Lucretia. Alright. A little bit uncomfortable. See what I can make happen, alright? Thank you, man. For the advance. Alright, we got the key. Leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Goodbye. Go. And never return. You think I want to return? Huh? Motherfucker. shooting her dude that's breaking the golden rule chat secret area Taking the zip line. Ah! Oh, oh fuck! Right. So we have um, we have to talk with this motherfucker. But first, let me get that medicine chest. She will guide you. Who? It's a guy. Assuming. Uh, where is the Apollo Shrine? Where I got this bow. Salve. Salve. Oh, it was over here. Now, where is this fucking cocksucker? Huh? Remember me? You. You took care of him. What the fuck? Where the fuck are you? An accident? So, it's over? Oh God, that's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I, I do have a question though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you know it was going to collapse? Uh... Keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. You better. I promise. Nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. Thank you. I'm That'll glad be great. you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? I need to keep your mouth shut. What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. Uh huh. How do you? Uh, I'm not that interested. Um, any idea who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame that is. Maybe this will help. 
Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard Classic. some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I popped my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch, and the light glinted off something metallic. Armour, I think. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Horatius, Domitius, and Rufius. Alright, we only met Rufius, correct? Alright, thanks All for right. your help. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. And Horatius? Who was Horatius? Was that the... Was that the first guy? The gu uh, first guard? Yes? Alright. Oh, she was all the way over here. So you can see her. Alright. Um... Shiny. Oh shit, him fucking coming. I need to think. This one. Fuck. We need to find... Find me? No. Where is this guy? Huh? Where did he go? Salve. What have you baked for us today, my talented young friend? Same thing I've made every day for the last five months, George. Great. Ah, but it's the way you make it which makes it so magnificent. I just Fuck, where is this guy? You managed to elevate it to an art form somehow. <laughs> you won't flatter her. What are you like? You just walked past him? That's not him. The guy who owns the fucking spice that locked me into the fucking temple. Where the fuck is he? Hello? And may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh, what's the status of the election? Uh, what's your story? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, What is your story? I'm a uh, Sigma male. Oh, I'm in a hurry. hurry, you say. Well, in that case, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Alright, what's a Vestal Priestess? You really don't know. You are from far away, aren't you? Remind well, me. I am one of the priestesses charged with keeping the sacred flame in Rome's shrine of Vesta burning. I take it you know who Vesta is? Ah, uh, remind me. Vesta is the mother goddess of hearth and home, and the guardian of the Roman people. Hearth and home, okay, okay. The goddess for that. That's unfortunate. Uh, what do you do here? But simply, I tend to the temples, ensure their sanctity is preserved. Now I'm wondering what the fuck you're doing here with the prisoner. Why? So that we continue to honor our gods, invite their blessings, and not bring their wrath down upon us, of course. It's vital that we keep them appeased and remain in their good graces. All right, all right. How did you end up you know, here? No, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? 
A young woman named Karen dragged me out of the river, unconscious, and sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you. It's an older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. It carries negative connotations where I'm from. I think I see where this is going. You do? Well then, have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Solve it. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. Uh, any patterns? Alright, but you didn't give me shit from what you remember, but... Alright. Good. Thank you. But please, be careful. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you, too. What happened to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community. Darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty. Always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, uh -huh. about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. But she just looked at us with this haunted stare, called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the Golden Rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just the pattern. don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? I'll be careful, my lady. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth, and come back to me if you discover any patterns. Yes, ma'am. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? What's your story, bro? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... They said they had to lock me up. You're also special. I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. Did somebody think you were going to steal? So you're a thief? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Uh huh. Is that all? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Liar... Liar Billy. <laughs> a liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Alright, let's see what you got. Liar Billy. Letter from Sensius to Dooley. Magistrate Sensius to Dulius. I am writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. Smile on you, brother. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns which are strictly off-limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedoms uh, limited, Let's, lest you break the golden, the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. 
Okay. What does it say? It says they caught you trespassing several times and they locked you up to stop you breaking the golden rule. Uh, my treasure. My precious. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. The treasure All I remember is the is friendship said in your heart. About the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Alright. If you give me that key, I can try to find out what it unlocks. Hannibal s d said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Uh, prison break. Is that against the golden rule? Alright, let me talk to the Galerius magistrate. already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Then maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. And everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't what remember the hell is what cisterns? it was. Just that it was way up high and very precious. Sewer? Oh. Alright, I'll see what I can do, my man. Uh, let's talk about your treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. Yeah, he okay, said you already said I'm this. Fair enough. Bye bye. Fucking Alzheimer. Hello. Oh my god. Have we met before? Bye bye. Uh, I did not do it. Well, that proves it then. I... I know. So, where do you think this guy went? Quidia. Isn't the great temple? It really did not look busy, by the way. Now he's talking to the other one. Who is this? How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being election. The mountain. The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus? You go through me. Literally. All right. Uh, I like to meet Maliolus. He's busy. Unless. No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man. And this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Uh, isn't solicitating bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a... A tribute. 
to me, your soon to be patron. Uh huh. Here's ten denarii. Oh, actually, what do you want? Dunno. Something good. Uh huh. Alright, how about a hundred denarii? Mio. Just make it good. Alright, here's ten denarii. Make up at Murday. Future RAS. Just make it good. What? I'll see what Just I can do. Just make it good. About the tribute yeah. you wanted? What have you got for me? Just make it good. Did I give it to him? Alright. Who are you gonna vote for? Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own. Wait, daughter, there are three candidates? Can trust him to protect us. Alright. Are you the one threatening Virgil? Do I seem like anonymous threats of my style? Fair enough. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. All right. Oh. Breaking in a crime? Magistrate, magistrate, is it? Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored to be elected your magistrate. Thank you. Did you just scale the wall to my villa somehow? I must remember to have words with that buffoon, Domitius. Oh, no, don't tell him. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Uh, so you're Quinctius? My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description of this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Alright, alright. Uh, my mistake. That's quite alright. We all make mistakes. I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, yes. and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because if you don't, I'm going to kill you. You fool. Impossible. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What? I was fucking- what? I can't bluff? Bluffing it- what? Oh, threaten? Oh my god, a direct hit. Fucking everything is locked!
Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for in All there. Alright, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. That's it. Now go as fast go, as you can. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. It didn't even give me the item. I guess it gave it to me before. It's because I'm bad. Wait, I actually lost the bow. How do I have how do I have the zip line but not the bow? Explain that, developers. The myth of the golden rule. As per our custom, I shall begin by having by paying my respects to the god responsible for this city. For our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion, he deserves our admiration. But here I must depart from customs, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching, and deserving of our contempt. Your fucking statue. I have the bow. All right. Now, do we have the key? We do have the key. And this guy, now he won't know what the fuck who we are. Wonder how much one of these statues. Saw it again, outside. friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. And exactly what's about to happen to them. Okay. You'd never believe me if I told oh, you. Come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'll keep it between us. I promise. Okay. I'm reliving the same day over uh, and over again. You're toying with me, right? Wait. You're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Uh, how so? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom. Forcing him to start mm, over no, that's me playing and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway, maybe this is the underworld. Upset to get yourself dun, into this dun, position. Dun. Me, you seem all right to me. So I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you, and you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Okay, well, you're not gonna remember any of this next time. So, but thanks. Anytime, friend. Now I'm going to keep your secret. Although it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk, anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Alright, as I was saying, you, sir, are a cocksucker. Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? I took it from the shrine of Diana only to discover you locked me inside with an angry horn and I managed to escape and after harrowing an ordeal in the palace, I traveling back in time, here I am. Uh, are you well, stranger? 
Have you been out in the sun too long? You seem a little confused. Perhaps you should go and see Lucretia in a clinic. Perhaps you should. Shut Very well. The Another time. Fuck up. Alright, where's the Temple of Apollo? It's over here. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Why is it locked? against someone else with a weapon. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons then, so it wouldn't be an issue. Double bow! Duping! Oh wait, no the temple is not there. This is the... Wait, is the chest in here maybe? No, I'm pretty sure it's in the temple. Oh my god, it is in here. Fuck. I thought I was in the temple. Navius treatment notes. Treatment notes. Flatulence, rhubarb. Really? Ulcers, gent. gentian. Stomach pain, glucoriza. Remu. Re, rheumatism, willow bark. Balls, aloe. Aloe! All right, maybe she wants this information. Hey. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. Sorry. It's too late. She just slipped away. Ah. Uh... I was hoping to chat. Should I come back later? No, no. Now it's fine. Okay. I can't afford to wallow here. And I need the distraction. Read and think for three years, so man. Journey Badge, Prong, Tom Kickers, Steve, Engineer, The Void, Ultra Pooper Warrior, and Fairy Q. Welcome, welcome back. What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. What do you mean? How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I Classic. waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and mm. leapt in. So it's the river. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank. All right, I see the connections. It's Sorry right. to hear that. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. Your fornicating husband. there's husband. no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. All right. Uh, do Gladly. you want this fucking list, or who do I give this fucking list to? Can we talk about Lulia? Well, come back if you get sick or injured, day or night. I'll do what I can. All right. So, uh, what do I do with this list that I found? I don't know who this belongs to, or who wants this. Maybe we'll find out. Shiny. Alright. Uh, did I ask this guy about his story yet? I think I did. Pecator. Sinner. Pecador. Pecator. Alright, we don't know who did this yet. Uh... 
Alright, where's the woman? Oh yeah, she's over here now, I think. Did I ask him? I did ask him. Whatever. Whatever, you whatever, man. Greetings and salute. Greetings. I'm Georgius. This is Georgius. It's gorgeous. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India. And never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? My nation doesn't exist yet. I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. Then you are an explorer, like me. Wonderful. You must have many stories to share. I cannot wait to hear them. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Information perhaps, yes. What's your story, man? My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. Humble shop? Alright. How did you end up a here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Okay. Why don't you tell me what you do remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares. And droning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. Mm. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Alright. We got it. Anything you like. I hope that our I'll be going. Again. Talk to you later, my man. Alright. Equation. Let's talk, you and I. A new face. Ave. Oh, and right. my Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh I've been asking people about how they wound up here trying to find a pattern. Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me. But you've come to the right person. Did you find a pattern then? What have you noticed? Some people mentioned a river. Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? That... That's all I noticed. Mm. There are definitely some common threads there. I think that well, I another think coincidence is that... Is that these people are were bad people? Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind, and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. All right. What's the status don't of the election? See you again soon. All right, so where are the qu where, where's the quest log? Which hotkey was that? Eat a quitas ass. 
Isn't the great temple majestic? Jay? It wasn't Jay. I brought it up before, but I forgot. Huh? I've tried all the fucking keys. The fuck? O for objective? No, I tried. Tab. I'm retarded. Alright, um... We don't want to steal this. Uh, investigate the issues. Horatius and Rufius. Yeah. And then... Um, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Horatius, Domitius, and Rufius. Alright. Who the fuck was Domitius? Was that the guard in front of the other guy? No, that wasn't him. Is it this guy? Let's fucking talk to this guy. Uh, Are you threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. Alright, fair enough. Whatever. Alright, let's go That's see the lost. Ah! <laughs> you, motherfucker. What is it, citizen? Are you threatening Virgil? Actually, what's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter. I should mm. say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. Alright, how did you end up I'm here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing alright for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Ram. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. Did you steal it by any chance? Flooding through the streets, shouting fire, people screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future child tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. And I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river, and then nothing. What? Genetric chem? What the here. fuck does that mean? No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. Well, I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Genetric chem? It's the second time. The first time I was brushing it off. But what the fuck does that mean? Genetric chem. Alright, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. A Seneca the Younger said. Difficulty, strength in the mind. Unknown perpetrator. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. It's an insult. Alright. Are you the one threatening Virgil? What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. But everyone says it's not them. Because you're a citizen of the why not? Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. I was gonna borrow it for a fucking day. Just gonna have a peek, but alright. Alright. Uh huh. Mm, duty Malleus Guard Quarters Slum. He lives. Wait, so he's the fucking guard of this candidate, but he lives in the fucking slum. Alright. Uh. Maybe we can see where he. Uh, like his bedroom. Maybe we can go investigate it. Who was the other guy? Who was the guy that's so rude?
Rufius. He lives in the slum too. Okay. I don't even know where the fucking slum is. Sure, I'll give it back to you tomorrow. Thanks. Of course. I'll be going now. Alright, what the hell is a slum in this city? What is hey, this? You're not thinking about going into the cistern. Oh, man. these are the cisterns. Uh I wasn't, but now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Why shouldn't I go down there? told you about Hannibal. Oh, why do I have to do everything around here? That's in the movie. So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. Amazing voice acting. I think this voice acting is good. Compared to a lot of I've played. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there. And put a sign at the door to warn the others. That was a great story, but I'm still giving. I'm still going down there. It's your funeral. Actually, it's all of our funerals. If I can't solve this stuff, all right, who lives here? You're the one who's supposed to be helping me. No to Octavia. The green curtain behind Forson is just for acoustics. Copperson. It is not there to hide Nina and Pepper's limbs hiding from the ceiling. Copperson. Mm-hmm. An anonymous friend to Octavia may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry. I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I am right then you're a believer like me you may not be able to worship openly here but know that you're not alone if you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theater turn right at the first fork and again at the second all right remember that chat Uh, all right, we're not gonna steal that, are we? Nah. We just put everything back. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not gonna steal this shit. Uh. Show what's behind the curtain. What? What fucking curtain? Oh, in real life. No, no, uh, I, I have to clean up for a second first and then, yeah. <clears throat> Kill me. Oh, these are not golden arrows? Oh, shit. Uh, he's still alive then, I guess. Wait, so... 
I have the fake bow. Wait. Okay. Sorry about that. It's already dead. Alright, there's something fishy going on in here. Find a credit way into the upper systems. Oh, wait a second. We gotta make sure that the. Uh, can't move. We don't wanna miss anything. It could be important for our mission. Like this! Ha! Huh. Huh. Seven hundred sixty-five dollars. What did I tell you, chat? Hmm? What the fuck did I tell you? Yeah. What? And a massaged human-like creature spattered in gold. It appears to have been crushed to death while entering the cisterns from the cave beyond. Right. Now we'll go up the fucking system, alright? Aha! Everything happens for a reason. You want to fucking jump? Well, that was fucking useless. There's no way I make this jump. Huh. All right, we're up. <gasps> Who the fuck is this? Italian plumber. It's a me. Oh, you. Who are you? Did he send you? Who? I'm Pepega. Nobody sent me. But you know you're here. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What's going on here? I'm Centella. I found a way out through the gate of horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, who did you tell about it? He wants to keep us all here forever. Or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. You can't kill him though. Who did this to you? How? Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll oh, is this Frank the daughter that supposedly died? How hasn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Uh-huh. What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck. Even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me and we can escape together. Uh, what about the there others? There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? <sighs> Tempting offer. But, uh... What if I round everyone up so that they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? There's no time! Wait, did you hear that? He's here. Never. I'm sorry, but uh, if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. What? No, you can't just leave me here. I'll come back for you. So I promise. Not heartless, just rational. I hate you. I spit on you. I owe 
this drags you to Tartarus. And also, there's no one coming. Liar. Which way did I come from, though? From the staircase? No, from there. Chocobo Tamer JJL 3007 Shoban Somnam Blues and Volcano Gunner with the four years for Sunday. Thank you, sir. It's very nice of you. Enjoy the badge. Ah, oh, fuck. It's locked. It's all locked. You know where to. How to get out of here? Well, you're back. Have you come to let me go this time? No, I'm just lost. What? No. It's too dangerous. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. I can be fairly persuasive. You're making a mistake. Alright, so I guess we have to go down the same way we came and uh, talk to Sensius. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. I'm thinking. The fuck? Delta P. All right. All right, how sneaky should we be about this? Oh, he's already waiting. Ave. You know who I am? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Um, Pepe, and we had this conversation we before. Have? Wait. If I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time yeah, is proof of to bring you here. Line. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Uh, one time, is maybe. that about right? If so, what happened? Ah. Uh... We've had this conversation too, and I'm in a hurry. Seems rather brash, but all right. Why have you sought me out? Stop locking up your daughters. I know what you did to Santilla. Me? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, you remind me of him. Who? Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. What? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Oh shit, Whether so he's always gonna remember this. Attention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled. A little more haunted. 
And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life, just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up, but you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I mean, you've lived through the day, what, only three times? Extremely impressive. And one was scripted. And yet everything you've done has been in vain, because there's no escape. Except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Best to take your own life now. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Uh, uh, you knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all. Over and over again. For eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Well, I'm literally in your position too, so... Hand over the key to the exit. And why would I agree to that? Because if you don't, then uh, I can't kill you, and I can't threaten you, apparently. That causes the golden statues to fuck me in this. Uh, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> you don't have it handed over, you might have an uprising on your hands. Uh, What's to stop me from taking it by force? The only way you're getting this key is over my dead body. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point in time. So if you kill me, you'll stop me from doing so. And you being here, will be an impossible isn't that what i'm trying to achieve if i die you'll be flung back to your original time having caused the deaths of everyone here and you'll never be able to undo it is that what you want they're dead in my life in my fucking time zone anyway my fucking time Oh. All right, this isn't over. I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever until you wither and die like Al did, and the God sent yet another useful idiot to extend. So it's gonna be kind of awkward now. All right, I'll find a way to break the cycle, and you with it. What are you going to do? Beg the gods for help? They don't care about you, and neither do I. Now, get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. I'm literally outside of your villa, though. Alright, so I guess our quest is kind of fucked now, where we can't snitch on people who we suspect. Uh, but it's definitely... Mm. Alright, well... Fuck you. But uh, who's the homophobe? You're a weapon and I don't know. think it's this guy. I think that it is. Are you the homophobe? We have to bluff, look. The whole point, like, we have to bluff with one of these guys to make them confess. 
But if we're wrong, it's gonna cause the fucking... The, the fucking, uh, shit to go ham again, right? Whenever you bluff, for some fucking reason, so we have to be certain. I don't remember what this guy's story is. The station. Families from Solution on Tigris, Babylon province. Maybe there's some I've been homophobic. Long time now. Even joined the legions. Bigot sandwiches. The sixth. One that I missed in the start. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. What do you mean, same as everyone else? That's not an answer. Why are you still wearing your legionary armor? Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Not much of a talker. If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. What are you dealing with? None of your business. In Troite, it's some coming shoulder. In Troite Ipsum Cum, Mantula. Oh shit! What the fuck does that mean? Alright. If we have to. If we have to. I mean. Whatever. You fucking whatever. What are you selling? Alright. I'm stuck. What if I follow him? I don't think it's him, honestly. I mean, it's too obvious, right? You ever watch Scooby Doo? Then it leaves this guy. I'm pretty sure. Harvey. Oh, not this guy. Fuck you. Uh, I like you to release Dooley. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not I'll vouch for him. Fair enough. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Don't act like we're friends now. What the fuck? Well, you, that was a quick fucking lap. Just saying. Alright, we don't know who the homophobe is yet. We'll find out, maybe. I'm not gonna bluff him. I don't think it's him. I think it's the guard. The first guard. Not sure why. But he seems like a nice guy. So he's probably... Secretly. <laughs> uh, How... Would I go about talking to whichever god is responsible for the gold? Well, I suppose we'd first need to figure out which god that is. And I'm afraid even I don't know. Although I have my suspicions. This might sound like a strange question, but please humor me. How did you find your way here? A young woman named Karen dragged me out of a river, unconscious, and sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed... odd to you. Uh, it's an older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. Older. I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. no. What are we gonna say? I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember, and see if you notice any patterns. Well, I told you of one pattern already. Good. Thank you. But please, I just... You have? Then what is it? Some people mention a coin. Yes. I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? What else? Mm, that's all. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. 
All right. Come back to me when. Fucking personal, motherfucking journalist. All right, we know of a secret cave though. We found in the house notes on it. Uh. How'd you do? Opius the thief. All right, uh, bro. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die? I don't think so, my friend. It's a All right. So what did the note say exactly? I put it back. But it's some something about. A cave behind this arena, right? And then when you're in the cave, take a double right at the fork path. Fuck, wrong boat. Aha! That's a lot. What am I supposed to do with this this oh. coin? Is this the cave? This looks like the cave. Oh, I can buy the medicine. Oh, you're fucking right. I can buy the medicine. I have fucking a lot now. I can't see exactly how much. Three thousand three hundred ninety-seven. All right. Forked path. We haven't gone to the forked path yet. Uh, wood carving. Stone disc. Bread. It's still fresh. Cap. All right, we go. Are these the slums? These have to be the slums. Will you though? I don't know if I trust whoever this is. Just saying. All right. Bottle of wine. Possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. Alright, forked path. Right and right. Uh, that wasn't really a forked path, though. But maybe this is it. Alright, I think we shortcut this shit. Key to secret shrine. Alright. Secret shrine. A plague bearing a Latin inscription. Pluto, father of riches. Stone carving with a symbol of a fish. Bro, what am I supposed to do here? Secret shrine. What did the note say again exactly? I couldn't take it because that would be stealing, but... It said something about a secret shrine, but what am I supposed to do at the secret shrine? We'll have a look again. But first, we're gonna see... Two of the guards live in the slum. The bloodless shadow wanders without flesh or bone. Oh shit, is this where she lived? Alright, let's see if we can find some... 
homophobic sandwiches. This ain't it. Here. All right. I love your clothes. So exotic. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. I love your cleaning methods. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. I have that effect You're not on like women. Any Roman man I've ever seen. You seem so refined, so civilized. And you're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, oh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? <laughs> what? You came on to me? I take back what I said. Ah, oh, fuck. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that. You ever. want me to so we can at least ask you to go on? So, with the what brings you to my tavern? What's your story? Ugh. Oh. Let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. All right. Certainly. For ten Heard an interesting gossip. Here's ten dinars. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. Don't worry. It's a real we'll shame. Get, we'll, we'll fuck now up somewhere else in hair. reverse time. All right. Here's another ten denarii. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's gonna throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. All right. Whatever you like. Oh, do you need All right. All right. See ya. Thanks for nothing. You stay away from my money. Okay. Shit, it's locked. Key to Aurelius' chest. Ah, don't want to steal that. Right. Handsome. Unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink. Get out. Uh, what? Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. You just scared they me away, literally. Imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? It's all up to me. Virgil's chest. Oh, this is where he lives. Alright. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think we'll find anything here, probably. Yeah. Tripolar, <laughs> tripolar woman. Uh, who lives here? I can't see shit. All right. Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. Dom Domitius chest. All right. With, mm -hmm. 
Who? Theophilus? Who the fuck is that? Alright. We need to find Rufius' room. The many shall suffer for the sins of one. Wait! Okay. Cavalry helmet. Horatius chest. Horatius, Horatius. Uh -huh, banner. Do you have any evidence of him being homophobic? Mm, I don't see anything. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, but it does not notice the crowds that come. Word. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, Imitating their previous lives. Um. They never do. Alright, what do you think about the golden rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. All right. Can you tell me about the pattern you, you saw? You think though? you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. All right. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. So ignorant. The Legend Pro thing for one year. Okay, egg. Mike Ox smells bad. Oh, nice one. That one bra, Grand Tension, the nice. Not Scortotar and I live on Mars with the Prime Sub. Thank for one year, the one bra. Bra. Strano with the Prime Sub, welcome. Ladies, Vice.tv with the gifted sub. Oh wait, Galerius. Who was Galerius? I always mix these guys up. Is that one of the... The first dude. Ah, the bald guy, right. A poem by Galerius. My life has been torturous as the seven labors of Hercules, orphaned, defeated and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly. Because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you, and more than hold Vesta's flame. But to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow is enough. Okay. Prototype. Zipline. Yeah. All right, so we're still missing one apartment here. Uh, base. Which room is this? Rufius chest. Alright, I am I have a feeling that uh, this is your Don't final imagine. warning, Don't sinner. Fast. Yeah, I feel like he's, he's uh, his closet, you know? Still in the closet? He's projecting or something? 
Uh, yeah, we got him. Fucking Rufius. Fucking devs making the most obvious one, the obvious one. The actual one. Motherfuckers. Trick me. Tuner IQ. Alright, Rufius. I fucking got you, man. Where is he? He's always patrolling around here. Where the fuck is everyone? Hello? Aha! You fucking bitch. Ah, oh, you again. I really want threatening Virgil. What you're talking about? Oh yeah? I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? I haven't thought that far yet. Uh, I'm just gonna s going to ask you to stop threatening him. And why should I? Because you have a penis. One true God. Carving this in your room. for a man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. Do you ever read chat? I do, sometimes. When I'm unlucky. If that's true, why hasn't the golden rule been broken already? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed you. Oh, so you're saying he's not all-knowing? Huh? He does, then maybe he's not a god. Seems to me your agitations is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know. Gay? <laughs> he just seems like a normal guy keeping to himself. What's your problem? Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? Oh shit, here we go. I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. Uh, it must be difficult to be torn between your faith and your desire. I fucking knew it. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. I'm talking to you again. I have nothing to say to you, Caput Madda. Greetings and salutations. Ah, uh, so... Did I fuck up, or...? Figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. Well, I mean, I just tell him to go fuck him. Salve. Ah, a new face. Salve, oh, and welcome fuck. to a little Doesn't community. Remember me. My name's impossible to pronounce for most. You yeah. arrived on a sad day, friend. What with Julia's death. Okay. So, uh, what's your then story? I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But Doing you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious job. architecture or mysterious history of this place. Correct. <laughs> I like that. We're going to get on well, friend. Alright, so... I can approach him about the subject. Some people say it's divine. I mean, we can. Fair enough. I mean, Wait, what? Good. I'm yeah, I already talked to him nice about to talk this. To you. I don't know why I can't talk to him about... This shit. Hmm. Greetings and salutations. Do you think I fucked up? You need to see the graffiti? Do I? Salve. I mean, I've already seen it. He doesn't know I have to re see it. Hmm. 
Welcome back. I don't think I don't. Nice I, to I'm talk not to sure. You. Whatever. Uh, how do I stop this guy? Caput mad. Where they go? Oh, we buy it now. Where are you? Wait, where the fuck are they? Hello? Oh, shiny. Salve and welcome. Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day Clean in a carriage air. on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my they eyes no for a bit. I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was the in city. a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Trapdoor temple. Sorry to hear that. That's odd. Most of the others were in Rome before they woke up in the forest, but you're saying you were days right away? I suppose you're right. I haven't really thought about it. But the gods are mysterious and powerful. Who knows what their plans are for us? Just staring into my soul. All right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. You better not. But where the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I fucking know. I was looking for the guy. All right. Don't fucking stress me. Where'd you go? Priestess? Wait, what did it say? You may not be able to worship openly here, but you know, no, 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 okay, just... Uh, Hello? Priestess? This guy's been doing fucking push-ups for days. Bust the nut. She's not here. They're all fucking gone. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Cause I'm alpha. Bitch. Bro, where is this woman? You look well, my sartorial friend. 
Salve. Oh, maybe she's in here. Huh. Salve again. Did you find what you need? Well, I found out something. Well, I suppose we'd first need to figure out which god that is. And I'm afraid even I don't know. Although I have my suspicions. This might sound like a strange question, but please. Karen, you... Oh my god. Older. Hmm. I have... I... Good. I... Up until a few... And the... Bro, where's the alternative... You have? That's true. Jesus, that I should be on the first fucking menu. Up here. What? It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. Why would I have to go through all that? Fucking young woman in the forest named Karen. Yes. Fucked up, your fucking dialogue tree, man. Yes. I see. I met Karen. And was this Karen? By any chance wearing a hood? Uh was she wearing a hood? A hoodie? How could you have known that? Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. Uh damn right I'll follow you to the baths. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Yes, of course not. That would be breaking the golden rule. Or. Uh. Is it over here? Whoa. Where the fuck is. Sh yeah. Am I. Am I. S supposed to go this way or in the bathhouse? Alright, I'm gonna... She said follow. Alright. We'll talk in the baths. There's something you need to see for yourself. What? What the fuck? All right, so what are we, uh, what are we doing here? All right, you're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here. Yes. Look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just as you described it. Only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C H A R O N, as in Charon, the ferryman of the dead. The ferryman of the dead. Who, in exchange exactly. for the coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx. The river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that... 
Right. I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. There are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. But on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. Well, if I'm dead, then you're fucking dead too. I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us you call that it. the golden rule I did is call the work it. of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so I'll try to answer them if I can. So we're dead. That was my first thought too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying, if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. True, true, true. We could still be alive. Uh, why are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our Vicious case, cocaine. it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. And that might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about oh, I'm sorry. Karen? I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman, or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different, whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involved the souls of the dead, meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd help the new arrival cross, only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin, because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. The only difference is that they spelled it with a kappa, which I suppose means K-H-A-R-O-N is closer to the original spelling. Why didn't you all recognize Karen immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kurti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort, and their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Okay. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it, if we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity. We don't have much to go on except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld Proserpina to help them escape and finally Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide who led him through a secret gate so it seems you have two options to confront the god of the underworld head on or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide Great force Alright
tell me more about confronting the god of the underworld head on. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the golden rule, and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but well, you are no I'm Hercules. a gaming god. Are you telling me that you can? I won't pretend to understand exactly what that means, but if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. Perhaps. But first, you'd need an audience with you know who. Why does she keep that, saying you know who? To enter like the in Voldemort. Temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebody's, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our plaques. divine keeper. Like if the fish you could plaques? Cover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. All right. It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head. Well, I couldn't pick them up, so before the great temple, a dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome, but of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way you here. You made too. this. Although I made this. Is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. A mystery plaque. Hmm. Where do I find the Greek plaque? I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Uh huh. Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So perhaps you could talk to her. Ah, oh, fuck, take a Aurelia. Look in his room. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps right. finding the other three will illuminate the way. Oh fuck, it failed the quest with Aurelia. Alright. I notice you seem uncomfortable calling the god of underworld by his name. All Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto. If you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Pluto? Do so at what? your own peril. Shh! Is everyone so blunt where you're from? Oh. Pluto. That option would be the boldest. Not but even a planet. Are you afraid of man? The truth about the golden rule. As I said, Hercules. Yeah, okay. I'll admit so. Who but f the prop I it look if you it's the top Bro You cannot get out of this? As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds. So they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. That is standard for its time. So... If the stories are true, then I suppose so. The problem is... How do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? 
leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? A spirit guide? I hear the female statues whispering to me every now Truly? and then. And you're only bringing this up now? Never asked. Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? It's always the same voice and she's helpful. To the perhaps she is a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Proserpina herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? Tell me not to talk to you, or you'll be trapped forever. Truly? Then why are you still here? Because I can't get out. Ah, oh, I see. Then it seems you have made a great sacrifice for all of us, friend. I admire your compassion. Truly. Thank you. But unfortunately, I'm afraid your only other option will be to confront you-know-who. All right, I'm ready to get started. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. The best we can do for them on. is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible. As for Livia, it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone. Uh, who the fuck is Livia again? The old woman, the crazy one. All right. Uh, sure. She seems. In any case, time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. I don't know if I trust this voice, because they. She fucking told me to steal it. Steal the fucking shit. Is that the temple we're going to? Or is it this one? Bro, I'm mauling at the fact that this guy is gone. Fuck this guy. I want to buy the fucking shit. You look well, my sartorial friend. Just restart the cycle. I refuse. There's probably a cap on how many times you can restart the circle before you cannot get the best ending anymore. Alright, because he was very impressed with my three. Just saying. Uh, where did we get enter the... Was it here? Yes, of course. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So this place accepts all the souls. I know all about it. It does not the notice up. the crowds that come. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to. I figured it out. I know where we are. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. I was right. Yes. I thought. I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not. I kept thinking I must have gone insane. Wow, you're also insane. I had to tell myself it was true over related. and over again. Until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seemed cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. Mm -hmm. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? I did hear it already. But okay. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, 
and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, and still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice, and now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. All right, you do that. Don't you just leave springtime of, spring of a degenerate mind? Mm. All right. This year. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. I wanted to buy the Hello thing. Hello there, friend. May I say that is a glorious bow you're carrying. You never believe me if I well, told you. I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if you have any use for it down here. For the right price? Mm, I'll tell you where you can get your now own. you're talking, I'm interested. How about a hundred denarii? How about five thousand denarii? Oh, that's a little excessive, don't you think? It's not the bow of Ulysses we're talking about. Or is it? Think of it as an investment, a few little coins in exchange for the riches beyond imagining. Take it or leave it. All right, all right. But I'm going to need you to tell me before I pay up. Uh In that case, deals off. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be too hasty, friend. I just want a little assurance that I can trust you. That's all. You're just gonna have to take your chances, I'm afraid. Well, the golden rule won't allow me to not deliver my promises. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Alright, you drive a hard bargain, but here's your money. Oh shit, now, it worked! 5,000! It's in the Shrine of Diana. You imbecile! Everyone knows that. I can't take that golden bow because stealing from the goddess in her own shrine would break the golden rule. You promised to tell me where I could get one of my own. You can take it. You'll be able to keep it for the rest of your life. What is this? Some kind of joke? You gave me what I wanted, and I gave you what I promised. I don't believe this is happening. I do love a good lo loophole. Don't even talk to me. Oh shit, I maybe I should have bought the fucking flask first. Don't even tote. <sighs> Don't you just love springtime? It's fine, it's fine. Alright, so uh Galerius? Horatius? Hello Rufius. Looking a bit troubled there. I have nothing to say. Like I haven't slept my okay. weeks. Don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you stoics weren't supposed to worry. Alright, uh, we have we have a little yeah. Oops. What if there is We have a little problem here. Somewhere suffering, waiting to be found. Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. I think we need to restart the cycle at one point for sure, but Fuck your priestess. Alright. I'm looking for these plaques again. I think they're up here. Are they... This way? Fuck. It's this way. Fuck. Here. 
fuck? Where's the... The door? Where's that little, uh, chapel place? I forgot. Apparently. Here, I found it. Alright, wood carving. These aren't Hello? I said please leave. You're trespassing. Uh true. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What? Bro, what the fuck? I just tried to talk to her. Again. Is it fucking... Is it a sin? To be fucking persistent? Huh? What the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck you. Alright, well, we need to restart anyway. For a couple of reasons. One, uh, so that the tavern woman is not on a period anymore. And two, to buy the medicine. We get to keep the 5,000 we scammed, so. Alright, do all the things. Salve, friend. <sighs> Alright, uh, the owner is going to be broken soon. I need to quietly get everyone except the is ready to run into the upper system and the ground starts to rumble. Uh, nah, that's fucking stupid. I mean, doesn't he have to prevent all the things first? I'm pretty sure he has to prevent all the things. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go. All right, so. Are we chilling? Just as the ocean, but all right. The new, which is cool. All right, let's get that medicine. I oh, know, and I'll take care of it. Just go and hide, but not in the empty shrine. Wait, how did you know I was headed in there? No time to explain. Go. All right. I'll He's doing it. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's... Hello there, friend. All right, shut the fuck well, up. I'm... It's not for sale. Oh, well, let me... All right, uh, I need some syphilim. All I have. Fine. Oh, you have it. I'm impressed. Wait, can you scam him again? All right. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. No. Very well. Give some syphilim resin to Lucretia. All right. <laughs> I have it. What are you doing in here? She. What? Quit. Wait. So Leave if I here. fail this, you will I have to re you buy it again? You need to swallow this. Here. Let me help you. Because I'm giving it to her. Well, good thing I scanned it for 5,000. Hopefully in a moment she should be able to give me. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? I am. I'm a wizard, Harry. I'm a time traveler. Right. I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent. Because it sounded like you said, time traveler but whatever kind of traveler you are 
That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. Also she gone. just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Um... Uh... Talk about so, Lulia. What do you want to know? Right, she's Gladly. getting up. That's a ship. She's gonna leave her. Not do any like checkup. Alright. Why are you crying? Oh it's you. Sorry. I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Uh, she actually didn't tell you anything. Alright. Can I ask what happened As to you? much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. I want to know how someone poisoned you without breaking the golden rule. The golden rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. What the fuck is Claudia? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. His wife. Can't help unless you tell me what happened. <sighs> Persistent as nemesis, aren't you? I am. <sighs> I can tell you, but it's a long saga. I have all the time in the world. All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out... Aurelia. I would have done anything. The tavern and woman. then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested years. I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Alright, I'll pay your debts. I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon, it wouldn't Thousand matter. I paid Aurelia. Denarius 30 years, and I just got and 50. And she gave me her so-called way 5, out. 5,000 denarius? Do you want to know what it it's was? pretty good. Hemlock. What's hemlock? It's a deadly poison. All right. Made from a plant. Drink this, she said. And you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, Let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Surely that would have broken the golden rule. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits Don't while I worked day in, day out. His wife, Claudia, was just as bad. 
She set me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours. Only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. Ah, so you poisoned yourself. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. Sorry to hear that. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met, and tried to swindle the other. What, did you, what are they gonna do if you so just stupid. don't work for them? They can't fucking kill you. Just walk away, bro. Just step away from the monitor. When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I I'll started. I'll protect you, princess. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Ah, uh, can I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me for trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Don't worry. I'll break it soon enough. How much would it cost to buy your freedom? A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. Who? He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Perhaps I can help him too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are. What Why fucking bluff? So what is a bluff, Chad? Me, but... Thank you. Well. But first. Uh, Cliff. Oh. You mean my life story? Our father fell. Wait, I don't actually know this. I... Sorry. Fair enough. Alright. May Apollo keep you safe. And you too. There's the bluff. Ave. Don't do it. How come do... you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? So I'm a god gamer. How do I get up there? Fuck. The bridge. Alright, we gotta go over here. Fuck! Invisible wall! Fuck! Oh my god, really? I can't get back up? 
Are you a real cocksucker or what? Oh my god in heaven. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, devs. That's silly. That is silly. There's one of my legendary treasure chests over here. Oh my god! <laughs> Cue the Mario Kart music. We're on the final lap! Don't! No! We have to take an alternative route here. Are this... Is this not the gold bow? Oh fuck. Oh shit. I thought I would come up from the other side. You know? Like, surprise, motherfucker! Hey friend, I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Bro, I need to talk to Opius. Alright, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. no. Bro, this is why I wanted to go from the other side. Opius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Uh, good luck with that, Amar. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Mm hmm. Go on, then. Can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh, I was just gonna ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. Culus Cumulatus. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! Asks Ulpius how Centilla would feel. I... I can't believe he went through with it. What the fuck? I... Oh, Lord. That poor lamb. Was that my fault? That was not my fault. That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. Alright. But I was not. I have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will what have to clean up the mess though? in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Alright, is this the fucking obelisk, by the way?
Aha! I have one. Which one was this? The Roman one. Wait. Wait a second. Yeah, I will follow him. But first... Is there something here I need? Fuck it. Leap of faith. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have How is he dead? Elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored. Next year, and, and now, <laughs> and now, uh, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Yeah. And now, uh, all right. First, let's see if he has any of the plaques. Maybe. Seems like a collector of sorts, right? Finally, enjoy the freedom you deserve. And uh, yes. Uh, <gasps> Hello? I hereby announce a day of Well, I don't see any. Hello, motherfucker. <clears throat> Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? That what? was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life? Remember, chat, suicide is never the answer. Just go to XQC, a stream, and don't be depressed forehead. But seriously, you like Watching this hobo and his crazy schemes, there is at least a little bit wrong with with you, in a good way, heart. Crazy schemes? What are you talking about, what is... Mm, Melody 2K, Larry Man, Ecoflex, Conga with the gifted sub, the Adam Bound, welcome back, SPBST, Hanks, and Gear Shift was taken. Exposed for 7, for 7, and shit. I, what's your story, bro? I'm Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, Maliolus. I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you win? I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. Actually true. By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. Mm, it's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Yeah. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. The Golden Rule is definitely real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Ah. Uh... All right, I'm reliving the same day over and over again. The golden rule is broken each time. I found a book called The Myth of the Golden Rule. Whoever wrote it obviously died because they refused to accept the golden rule. What would it take to prove that it's real? Books? Notes? I mean... Uh... What? Oh, ho, ho, I Honestly. see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with this much longer. No. All right, I found a book. You mean that book next to a golden statue in the theater? Tell me, how do you know that statue wasn't put there by Sentius himself? You can't know, can you? All right, tell me a number between one and one million. And then I go back in time and I tell him that number, that exact number, to prove it. What would it take to prove it to you? Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. 
As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. You might think of a different number. Not if I do it under the exact same circumstances. Even if I can't prove it, I'm right. If I'm right, then accepting it will be avert disaster. If I'm wrong, then accepting it will make the city a better place. Isn't that a good thing? Aha. Yes. Uh, we're wagering into uh, Pascal's wager, is it? Territory. I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. I can see nothing I say is going to convince you. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. True. Alright. Uh, an idea where I'd find a Roman plaque? Look, if I had a Roman plaque in my possession, I'd be happy to sell it to you. But I don't, so I can't. Fair enough. Uh, do you know how to get out of here? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together for better I was just worse. talking about your house. We're all going to have to make the best. he's locked. I trust you can see yourself out. Through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a second. Note from Opius. Opius, to his lost love, may God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could, but without you, my life is meaningless. I only hope we meet again in Gan Eden. Alright, we can see what's in that fucking room now. I'm not supposed to be in here. Uh, can we talk? Talk. What business could you possibly have with what me? What business do I have with her? It's a wife. Oh, right. Why is the wife locked in here? Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. All right. Um, how would you like some help getting back at Malilus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think Malilus is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he mm. wrote me a love letter. Only... Quintix. He used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go. Eventually, and yet, questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. Mm -hmm. But, wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Oh, to force him to withdraw from the election. I just hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say impotent that. Impotent rage. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. Bro, but he'll first, just lock you in again. I need you to do something for me. Permanently. What do you want? I want you to bring me... I have a wine! I found it. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? 
why do you want the wine? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. Plebs. I've done for him, counselling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. Right. I am so looking forward to this it. This crazy woman. Alright. So, you'll help me? Yes. I have some wine right here. Thank you. Here's the letter. For a time I uh, despaired at the thought of being trapped here for the rest of my life, but then I met you and discovered that as long as I am with you, I am exactly where I should be. Mere words can express my affection for you and uh, so I will perform a grand gesture in your honor. I will become this city's magistrate so that I may govern with wisdom and strength with you by my side. Accidentally acknowledges his name Quinctus. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. Quinctius? Fucking burn down Rome. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. Uh... No, I don't think so. What? No. You... You tricked me. You meant Literally, little did not trick you. I didn't lie to it you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. I'll be going now. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. You molden because you're balding, bro. <sighs> Keep your money. Do I need to call Demetrius? Get out. Get out! Alright, now you motherfucker! Now! You're gonna get fucked. You again? What is it now? So you're a Quinctius! My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. Oh yeah? You... You mean my... And I like... Uh, I can't prove it to you, but I will. Uh, fuck, I literally have a letter. What do you mean? Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? You and I like. Apparently, Quintus also suffers from delusions of grandeur. This is not the letter he's referring to. This option is referring to what the assassin said at the very first quest all right just saying so don't act fucking smart as i'm still gonna do it now just to well i am not suffering from any delusions as today's election will firmly establish oh chad eat my nuts all that's right? quite all right we all make mistakes but how do I fucking give him the fucking evidence? I want you to withdraw from the election. Are you insane? You barge into my vi Why? Aha, here we go. I... Uh, so yeah, the dialogues are pretty fucked up with this game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, not the dialogue, but I the... Suppose that the makes options, you the dialogue tree, how it's made. One of Nero's assassins? 
No, I'm not, fortunately for you. The Emperor sends his regards. So, you're not going to kill me? I mean, not yet. Not if you withdraw from the election immediately and release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, well, if I do it, you'll let me live? Full out. I will. I'm a man of my word. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll have Demetrius notify the priestess of my withdrawal. Ah, and shit. And release those two from debt bondage. There. You got what you wanted. Now, please, well, leave my villa and never speak to me again. <laughs> yeah. You're free. You're free, man. Order. Demetrius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I've made a decision to release Yulia and Ulpius and withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform Equitia. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? No. Uh, I just had a, a, a change of heart. But you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Listen to him. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. Get some longer pants. Alright. You're free. Oh. You mean my life stopped? Oh, it will weep. But there's my care? I rem Thank you. All right. I guess it's just to save the other guy. Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy the from fuck today's election. <laughs> there. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. <laughs> Telepathy. A new face, are they? And may Vesta watch over. Oh shit! I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh. Uh. I beg. Oh my, that is quite a lot to take in. You'll have to give me a moment. Let's see. If that is indeed the case, I suppose we'd better figure out what to do about it. Hadn't we? We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular. Her, her oh no. Assistant. So, All right. May four. How are the uh, information? All right. <sighs> Name's Rufius. No idea what. Yes, so what? What are you going to do? Alright. Mm, I'm going and to ask you to I? stop. Uh, the gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality, so why would they care about Virgil? There is only one true god. And he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of exactly this kind of thing. Who was it that said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? How do you think the magistrate would react if he knew you were a cultist? I don't like where this is going. Yeah, so leave him alone. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. Fuck! I have nothing to say. Fuck, this guy is hard. Tough nut to crack. Why am I retarded? Fuck. Alright, who has the other plaques? 
the Greek plaque. Aquila suggests I should be asking Georges, the city's only Greek resident. Who was that again? I forget. Was it the first guard? No. Who the fuck was Georges? Was it this guy here? Greetings and Georges. salutations. Greetings. I'm Georges. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. I know, I know. You won't to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some My questions. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Alright. Uh, do you know where I might find a Greek plaque? And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me? Because I am Greek. Let yes. me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up and I become Georges the Roman. I accept they can't the copy Roman. you unless... Plus, I can you made it up like first. Food. But my point is this. Either they're real or they're not real. If you stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Dooley? He cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things. Especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Alright. Thank hope you. That our paths <laughs> Alright. Hello. We have. Quick, about the Greek plaque in your Do cell. You like it? It's shiny, isn't it? It makes me happy just looking at it. Can I have it? But oh, if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. <sighs> All right, I need it for something really important. But it's mine, and I really like it. I want to keep it. All right. Um. Well, if you get me out of here, then I wouldn't need it anymore because I'd already be happy. Then you could have it, and you'd be happy too. Fuck. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. Oh, there's another one. Galerius. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Then you can have my plaque and everyone will be happy. All right. Bye -bye. Who the fuck was Galerius? The bald guy? Alright, so, but I didn't, is he even, con what, is he even a candidate? I don't even know. Where did he go? <laughs> Fucking cocksucker, I don't know where he is. He left that room. Hello. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. You're not like any Roman man I've ever seen. Careful you now. Seem so refined, Careful now. So civilized. Uh. The. 
Not interested. Time to throw. What was that? Some uh, kind of fuck. joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least so do again, business. So again, Chad tricked me. So, what brings you to my tavern? I'm looking for a kabash. Not for a few weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I hovered. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, you, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water uh, and the tree you grasp. No. Get out of my head! Hmm, wait a second. This place is actually open after... Because this, this, this one turns into an evil archer and stops blocking the door. So I think I can go in here if, on the next reset. Try it now. No, first I'm gonna approach George's here. Who was Kebesh again? You look well, no, I fucking my remember. Hello again, my Sardorial Many names friend. at once. What is on your mind? We for Kabash. Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us leave the live coals safely beneath the ash. You can trust me. We foreigners have to stick together. Very well. But the Magistrate would not look kindly upon this, so please keep it to yourself. For ah, several Egyptian. months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the Temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day, when I return, the food is missing. So is that Kabash hiding? The offering it is symbolic, you see. It is never eaten. So I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this temple? Stranger still. Once I sat in front of my shop like the hundred-eyed Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in. But do you know what I saw? Tell me. Nothing. Nobody entered, and yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. It is bizarre, is it not? When I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern... Remember, so Chad, appointing someone in a political office to pardon a prisoner is never the answer. Just fucking punch him unconscious and take his damn plaque or whatever. You bunch of pepidges. XQCL. Can't. I'm off to the Temple of the Mirror. I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. But you do not strike me as a kind of person to be deterred by such warnings. So just be careful, I beg you. Wait, it's not the temple that I found, right? With the secret... Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and... It worked! How is it possible? Now you come to tell me this? And you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them. Uh. All right. Uh, you're toying with me, right? No, you're I'm a not. Bit tired. Sisyphus. Yeah. Sisyphus was. He was. Yeah, I know. Tans oh. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset, so I'll t You're a good man. Oh, now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not one. 
All right, but you are wanted. I right saw now, you slide actually. down that rope before. Very impressive. And strange, too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been working on for weeks. Oh, of course. It's because I already gave it to you in a previous time loop, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me a favor? What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too Say no climb, more. so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use this will be again? my last and donation to Forsen because my mother found that I spent $305 on donations to Forsen. Alright. I'll talk to her. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. It's the 305. Alright, do you really think you can use the device again? Yes. Oh, thank you. It would help me a lot. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. Yes, I'll get it for you. Alright. Uh. Alright. See you around. Alright, we'll get one now. I, I already saw the flower and I was thinking of jumping off in the middle. Uh, it's a lot to keep track of. Uh, oh my god! Fucking A. First try. How do you like that? Also, what the fuck is that? Alright. Nice. There's another chest here. Alright, lots of dala dala. Dala dala. Alright, so the temple, uh, Gal. Oh, here he is. Hey. Fortune smile on. Salve again? No. I had the flower. Brilliant! You did it! Well done! Thank this you. is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Oh, shit. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be terrible. What's the worst that you could mean, happen? Aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful, and I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? Uh... Uh... Fuck. Uh... Fuck it. Hmm. They can't execute her. Loud, it's the golden I rule. How crazy it is. I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. What I need is a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she uh, feels without risking her life. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? Alright. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Wonderful! Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. Oh, she loves to have a unknown stalker. Okay, there the time goes. machine is done for you, Mr. Force. Hopefully you will be done in a couple of hours. 100 years later. WTF talking to all these stupid NPCs. I can't even remember their name.
just generating a new world every time. Bro, I remember most of their names, alright? It's just unusual names, because they're old Roman names, right? And then there's a lot of them at the same time. Just... Alright. Thank you. I'll do it. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. Alright. My lady. The fuck? Alright, uh... I'm actually gonna go ahead and save here. For today, because I gotta take a leak right now, and we're done anyway, so... Good timing, good timing. Alright, uh... Survivor Joe, Tomkes here, Birthday HS, Caden, Seal, and Paul. Thank you, boys. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, we'll finish it tomorrow, all right? Uh, so far, you know, it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, a lot of, I love the fact that it has voice acting. Uh, it's buggy as fuck, but yeah, uh, that's part of the charm, is it not? Part of the Skyrim charm. All right. Oops. Can't even make this decision right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the subs, three subs, those gifted subs, and of course the bitcoins. See you tomorrow. Yes, alright. Bye bye, boys. Bye bye. Bye bye.